I'm Jenny Davidson and I'm going to talk to sculptor Jamie McCartney about his latest sculpture which is called The Great Wall of Vagina. Now Jamie, you've got 10 pieces in this display here. Uh, how many women were involved altogether? Um, uh, more than 400. I mean, there's 400 casts here. 400 women, and how long yeah. did that take you? Nearly five years. I had never intended it to be this big or take so long. <laughs> so it kind of grew in the making. And you've actually, you've had to turn your studio into a gallery specially to be able to show. That's right, yeah, I really, I wanted to show it in Brighton uh, first. More than half the people mm. in here are from Brighton. This used to be a grotty artist workshop <laughs> covered in filth and grime. Uh, and now it's a beautiful gallery okay. space. The important thing, I and mean, the reason why I've done all this and I cast all these vowels is because I came to realise that a lot of women have anxiety about their, their genitals in the same way that men do. And you know, I could relate to it as a man going, okay, well I kind of get that. And, and uh, it was through a different project that I came to sort of realise this and then discovered that labiaplasty is like the fastest growing cosmetic surgery. So the idea that sort of women are cutting off parts of their genitals uh, to conform to some notion of a popular aesthetic, uh, which is, you know, created, I think, you know, largely through um, pornography and other things. Um, but that, that the idea that, that we're in a society that kind of makes that happen, I found a bit repulsive. I'm like, why do, how did we get here? Why are women cutting off parts of their genitals? You know, we talk about, you know, female genital mutilation um, as a bad thing. Of course it is. And that isn't with choice. But women are doing this, choosing mm, to do this. Yeah. And I was like, why? So, you know, I got into kind of trying to work out why. And then having decided why, I want to do something about it. Mm. So this is really about saying that this is what normal women look like. And, you know, so if you're going to make the choice to have, you know, surgery, at least do it, make it an informed choice. Because yeah. up until this was made, there really wasn't a lot of places you could go to see what other women look like. So it's bringing people back to a sense of reality. Yeah. And, you know, it's like positive body image. We're hearing so much about, you know, that what you see in magazines, what you see in films isn't real. Yeah. I mean, I think it's, it, when I mean, the world's gone mad, it, it, you know, it was so focusing on the physical. Uh, instead of the person, mm. you know, uh, we, we go out with, you have a relationship with a person, it's not just with their body, you know, it's with the whole of the person mm. and that's, you know, up here as well. I mean, the, the idea that, you know, kids in America are having graduation presents of, you know, breast enlargements and labia yeah. reductions and, you know, bum implants, <laughs> and I'm going, Jesus Christ, you know, aren't there more important things? Can't we focus mm. on up here a little bit i think i've tried very hard to remove any porn elements from it and i think just the sheer number of them mm. doesn't give you the opportunity to kind of focus particularly any one yeah which kind yeah. of helps making them white there's the absence of color and the way they're laid out in this very architectural way i think really does kind of really get rid of any kind of porn mm. element as well as at the end of the day i'm not a medical person i'm a sculptor this is actually it's also you know, it, it's a visual spectacular, that's what I yeah. want it to be. And it looks amazing and I'm really happy with the way it's turned out. The Great Wall of Vagina's not for sale, is it? Uh, no, it's not. I, I mean, I, I would like this to go into a public uh, museum art gallery sometime. Because of that, I've got to sell other things <laughs> during uh, during the show. So I've created all this wonderful uh, merchandising, which is actually really popular. So people are kind of getting into it, buying postcards and the mugs and the films. I mean, what better way to start your day than uh, with a Great Wall of Vagina mug? <laughs> and uh, oh, I've made uh, a couple of copies so people can actually buy a copy of uh, one of the panels in, in plaster and in bronze. The Great Wall of Vagina obviously isn't your only sculpture. Tell me a bit about your other work you've got on display here. Well, that's right. You know, it's taken me five years. It's not all I've done in that time. I have made some other stuff. Um, the thing, what's interesting, I think, for me is that a lot of my sculptures hang on the wall. The thing is, I do, uh, there's quite a lot of humour in what I do, so it's quite whimsical. I mean, obviously, this is the American flag made out of uh, bell ends. It's called Old Glory, and, you know, people can read into it whatever they want. It's actually about the fact that I went to college in America, art school in America, and that's how, where I had all my early sexual experience. This one here, made of mouse traps and cigarettes, is uh, it's called Lucky Strike, and this is about, you know, the addiction of, uh, of smoke. And then something like this, which is really just pure decoration, um, this is a man's body cast in a deer skin, which uh, makes reference to um, Greek mythology. It's called Actaeon, who was uh, someone who ended up getting hunted by his own hounds after being turned into a deer. So I do a lot of different stuff. And then, you know, obviously my bronzes and things like this piece and, uh, and this one. 
So there's there's more to uh, Jamie McCartney than the fanny the, than being called the fanny man, which is what the, the danger is <laughs> from now on. <laughs>